So today I'm going to have a go at changing the brake pads on the Mondeo but before you start on the rear brakes you're going to need a special tool one of these uh, which is called a brake caliper piston tool set and this is what you will use to wind back the uh, the piston on the on the rear rear caliper which is combined of course with the handbrake uh, the thread on this this particular tool is a right hand thread um, you can get left hand ones but for the Mondo it needs to be a right hand thread. Okay let's press on see how we get on. So the wheel is off but safety first. Under the front wheel I put uh, bricks so the car won't roll. The handbrake is clearly off at the moment. Um, I've also added in an axle stand uh, next to the trolley jack as well just in case the jack were to fail. So this is the rear caliper um handbrake cable comes in here actuates on the uh, the piston assembly on that side uh, this is known as a floating caliper uh, in the olden days there used to be a piston on on this side and on that side pressing up against the disc but uh, these days it's only one piston so in order to um, keep th the wear even and etc this whole caliper floats um, so the there are some shafts and some bearing surfaces in here and this whole thing racks backwards and forwards uh, centering itself up as the uh, as the pads wear okay so to get the caliper apart we're going to undo the bolt here and the bolt there and this is uh, attached to a sliding mechanism you're going to need a 14 mil spanner to hold the nut there and a 13 on the opposite side and it just comes apart quite easily. And that's out. Uh, and now if you just take a, a screwdriver, pop it underneath here, the caliper would just come away. Like that. There we are, one caliper off. And here are the brake pads just here, and they can easily be knocked out. I'll just move that over to one side for a minute. There's one, and there's the other. So here are the three parts to the uh, caliper tool. Um, I have a plate that's going to go in behind there. Uh, we got a thing that um, has a screw thread on it, right hand. And we've got this, which um, has two, uh, two little bumps, two little locating lugs, uh, one wide, one narrow and if I offer it up we find that it's actually the the wide one that fits in there nicely so I need that plugged onto there uh, and then going to put this plate in here now the slightly tricky part is to locate all of that inside the caliper without it all falling apart so that's the tool uh, assembled, uh, plate is inside the caliper, uh, the bottom part here is located onto the piston and if I just gently wind now the piston will just make it keep the tension on so that it all doesn't fall apart. There we go. Hopefully you can see this, but the piston is just slowly being wound, wound back in. There we are, it's fully in now. If I just release that. There we are, one piston all the way in. Just having a quick look at the gator 
make sure there's no uh, splits or tears or anything like that and that looks uh, just fine but that is back uh, all the way home now so I'm just gonna give things a little clean up these are nice little copper sliders shiny sliders and if they are nice and clean the pads will slide easily that's it that's good now what we also don't want is um, these uh, sliders here to uh, uh, get seized up so we take them out put a little bit of grease on and slide them back in just like that and just make sure the uh, the boot goes on properly there we are that's one done and we do the same to the other side so a quick comparison of the uh, the old and new pads um, this is my old pad and that's my new one look at the thickness of the of the uh, new pad this one was really shot anyway let's fit the new pads very easily done just there's one in Hard to see at this angle. There we are. There's the number two. And then all I've got to do is drop the caliper back over the top like that and um, tighten these bolts down. Easy peasy. make sure both sides are tight and there we are all good now we've got to do is pop the wheel back on so that's the wheel back on now I've got to do the other side well that went fairly well now I'm gonna have a go at the uh, the front wheels so this is the uh, front caliper again it's floating um, pretty much the same deal really but if you look at the back just here you'll find there's a a uh, little cap, plastic cap that comes off, uh, one at the top and here it is another one at the bottom and then what you need to use is an allen key like this, this is a number seven apparently to undo those those bolts. So the bolts are now loose and uh, this spring here holds the caliper in place, I mean you, if I just gently ease this you can see that 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 spring there is just holding it all in place so what we need to do is just pop this out and, and that just goes like that like that and there off comes the spring and now uh, the caliper if that bolt at the bottom is loose that should come off just like that Perfect. So here are the uh, the pads. These are actually in not bad condition at all, actually. But I'm changing them for the sake of changing them. And one of them is retained uh, within the uh, the piston. It's just sprung loaded like this. Just pull it out. Job done. All right. Now we fit uh, new pads. Okay. So now we fit new pads and starting off with the uh, sprung loaded one at the back and we just slot that straight in. So if you get a situation where you've got the two pads and you can't actually get the, the canopy over the top, uh, all you've got to do is just pop it back on with just one of the, uh, one of the pads in place and use a large screwdriver 
um, just pop it down in there and give a good pull and just push the piston back in it pushes the lever of the piston back in and then pop in the new pad on like that this then goes on perfectly there we go like this so what I'm going to do now is just uh, bolt up the allen keys again at the back there and then finally fit the spring clip So that's the uh, bolts back in. I'm just going to pop the um, little plastic covers over the top of the heads of those Allen keys, Allen bolts, I suppose you call them. And then the final thing is we've got to uh, try and fit this um, spring back on. Uh, this should be interesting. I wonder what the easy way of doing that is. Now I'm guessing it's something Put that in the hole. Maybe an aid of a screwdriver or something. Put that there. There we are, pops straight back in. There we are, that's the uh, front pad done on this side. Uh, now I've just got to do the other side. 